with Alex from ArcSight and that is because Mosure have an integration with ArcSight where Mosure's measuring technology is combined with ArcSight's ability to create price proposals in super quick time. So Alex, if you don't mind me asking, can you explain from your point of view that integration between Mosure and ArcSight? Perfect. So ArcSight is a CAD tool that can give you a lot of material takeoffs and information. Now with the integration that we have with Mosher, the measuring technology is going to allow you to pull that information right in so that you can seamlessly make a takeoff. So essentially what you're going to do is starting at the home screen, you're going to tap on the ArcSight icon right here, which is going to pull up that ArcSight digital canvas. At that point, all you need to do to simply start the integration is tap on the measure with Mosher button. And at that point, we're going to hand it to Barry and we're going to walk around and start collecting some measurements that we can pull right back into ArcSight. Okay, I can slip it right in here. So all I need to do now at this stage, now that uh, Alex has kindly set it all up for me, is I'm just going to fire up uh, the Mosher device, just give it a little flick of the wrist like that, and it's already telling me that we're ready to go. I'm going to do a closed shape. We're connected already. We're going to measure this area here, do a closed shape. I'm going to place Mosher 1 down, nice and easy. You can see the red light there, Alex. It's gone green, which is telling me we're good to go. So I'm just going to move along over to this corner. And as you see, when I place the device down, we're going to see in all but a moment a line denoting that, that area that I've just measured, about 20 foot. I'm going to continue on. So as I walk, it's measuring. And Mosher can measure on any kind of, you know, ground or terrain. So we've got nice smooth carpet at the moment, but it could be rocky terrain. It would just glide right on over that. It could be rough. It could be rugged. It could be long grass. It'll handle it very easily. So I'm going to come over here now. I can see right in front of me that I have an obstacle and I'm not going to be able to get into this corner, but Mosher has a trick up its sleeve. So long as I've got two points on this line and two points on that line, well, I'll just do it and I'll show you. We can actually fix this issue. So I'll come over here and capture one point on this line. Then let's go over here. Back to my start point, which is also my finish point. Press stop. Now we see we have this line here, this angle, which we don't want because we couldn't get in that corner. Right. It's just little on me. I can't move all that chairs. And this might happen in real life where you've got bushes, a big old trailer, could be a big animal or the local bull in a field. We can't get into that corner nonetheless. All I have to do now is select the line, go to edit and go to watch when I select on the bottom navigation bar, extrapolate corner. Those lines now run through. So there we go. So if I just go back to plan, we can see that we have the total area at 392 feet for all this area here, squared, and we've got the total perimeter as well. At this point, you know, I can export this, um, go to File, Export. I can export it to PDF, a CSV, uh, an M file, DXF as well, I've mentioned that. But however, what we're going to do now is if I press Return, it's going to return to you right. in ArcSight for you did your magic, I mean, that is so quick, it's so seamless, it's unreal. Perfect, so now once we have that information inside of ArcSight, what we can do is we can tap off side of it. We've got the full dimensions in here, which I can simply go in and I can highlight the entire object to have my dimensions shown. Now, once we have those dimensions shown, we can define what these lines are. So we're at the Fence and Security Expo, we're gonna be doing a fence today. So all I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna select a couple of these. I'm going to select these two, these three lines that are highlighted in the back here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on the attributes button. And I'm going to tell the system what these lines are. Just like that. Exactly. So, so now all I need to do is tap on add product. And, you know, there's a lot of people here that are working on, uh, you know, a lot of cedar fence. So what we're going to do is we're going to define that as a cedar fence. So once we hit OK, now we have a full material list based on what we just collected with the Mosher device, just like that. So when I hit save and continue, I've got all these dimensions. Sometimes what I like to even do is change the wall color so that way we can easily differentiate what's the fence and what's not the fence. So once we have that information, all we need to do is click on that takeoff and estimate. We have a full material list that is automatically pulled from the Mosher dimensions and it's going to be priced out. So at that point, all we need to do to generate a proposal is click on customer proposal. Oops, we are not connected to internet right now. Let me highlight and connect right back to internet. We'll give that a second. We will click export this as a customer proposal. We'll hit start 
And essentially now what it's going to do is it's going to go up to our ArcSight cloud. Mm -hmm. It's going to get those templates that we have pre-created for the Fence and Security Expo that we can push this information in front of the customer. Mm -hmm. It's there already. Exactly. We have a full proposal based on the Mosher dimensions that we pulled in that we can now review with the customer. So at the Fence and Security Expo, we've got all this information. We're at Homer Simpson's house right now. Mm -hmm. We've got all this information that we've collected. Now, when we're talking to a residential fence company, we don't typically present you know, the full material list. Even though we calculate that information, we're just gonna show a basic high-level detail to the customer or homeowner. So we've got our wood privacy, we've got our total price down at the bottom, and then we've got our detailed plan that we pulled in from Mosher that has a spot for the customer to just go in here and simply drag their finger along and sign right on this device. You can attach things like terms and conditions, but you now have a full proposal that you can review with the customer with that integration just like that. So we're going to hit save the cloud and everything is good to go now. Wow, that's amazing and that's so quick and it's so slick. So when you combine Mosher's quick, slick and easy measuring, drawing, math calculating capabilities with ArcSight's right. um, ability to interpret and annotate those measurements and create price proposals in little to no time at all. And by the way, while you're still out on site, while you're in a field in the middle of nowhere on an iPad, Correct. literally in the palm of your hand, it saves so much time and it gets the costs on point and of course saves you a lot of cost as well. It's actually, to be honest, it's like these two, Mosier and Arcsite, were, were always made for each other. Right.